Hello lovely people on the Going Electric Forum. Um, I'm uh, shooting this uh, video clip to show you the 20 kilowatt wall charger. Um, this is the charger that you may have seen before uh, on the forum. Um, we're, we're currently importing this product and uh, under our own brand and um, um, providing service and uh, maintenance and uh, warranty um, in Europe because we're in Romania. Um, so I'm shooting this, uh, this uh, small video to show you how the product works, that it exists in Romania. We've uh, translated it into Romanian and uh, a better translation of English. Uh, right now the German translation is uh, coming. Um, I can understand German, aber muss ich denken, viel denken, um zu sprechen. Um, so it's going a little uh, harder. Um, the product is really nice. Uh, we've tested it so that uh, you don't have uh, problems with it. We wouldn't like you to have problems with it because the law in, in Europe is uh, very, very strict. So this is why we only sell um, reliable products. Um, this is going to be this is going to be available uh, from uh, the 15th of uh, November. Uh, you can purchase it with a credit card or however you want. Uh, we'll provide uh, shipping and uh, maybe installation if we can get a, a provider for the services uh, next to where you are. Right now we have that covered in Romania. Um, we may have it covered in Germany, but um, we'll see. We're also providing all the necessary information for you to install it at home um, by yourself. This is not this is not a product that needs uh, a special considerations uh, for uh, the electricity part, the electricity system. As you can see behind me, it uses a 32 amp uh, five pin plug for um, three 380 volts for three three phase. Um, please excuse my stuttering. Um, the product is. Um, it's really nice. It's uh, it could be smaller, but um, you can't have it all. Uh, products, uh, comparable products are maybe um, double the price, triple the price. Um, although they're they're maybe two kilowatts uh, stronger than this one, more power. Um, so let me show you what the menu looks like. Uh, we've used it. It's really simple to use. You cannot go wrong with it. You cannot uh, mess up the settings. Uh, you cannot uh, overcharge or do anything wrong with it. It's basically plug and play. Everything that's uh, that's dangerous has been uh, blocked out. So all you can do is uh, charge uh, by uh, time, uh, cost, uh, power, as in kilowatts hour, or um, automatically. So that this is the most uh, most often used uh, way of charging because you just plug it in and it will finish whenever it will finish, and then it will stop. Uh, please keep in mind the last 20% of the battery state of charge is uh, a lot slower than the, the other uh, part, the first uh, 80%. Um, so without further ado, uh, let me show you the, the menu and the cable. So right now, by, by using uh, three clicks, or rather three um, touches of the touchscreen, we've uh, entered the automatic charging mode. Um, uh, this, is, this is in Romanian, so this is why you might not um, recognize it. Um, right now, it doesn't have a cable connected, so there's no a charging cable, so there's no car. Uh, it's, uh, it doesn't see anything, it's trying to authorize the, the charging session, but it, it will not find anything to charge. So this is why it uh, stops in, in the screen for some time. Uh, then you can uh, stop it by um, uh, authorizing yourself with the card. Um, so ri right now we're back to uh, where we were um, um, before. Um, you can then authorize again. It's a bit iffy, like uh, you have to get it in, in the center, but it's okay. Um, this is the, the emergency stop. Uh, this is what you press and then the charging station automatically uh, stops charging and uh, disconnects the, the charging uh, side, the DC current side, so that maybe you have a problem like uh, you uh, saw some water getting into the plug or whatever, like maybe a rat ate the cable and you think it's not safe anymore and you want to uh, stop it from charging. So then you press this cable, this uh, button, and then you, you twist it and it, it resets. 
so you get the message telling you what happened and then it comes comes back to the authorization screen uh, this is the plug that we've used for for uh, connecting the the charging station this works really well as in you don't need anything beefier or you don't need a direct connection to the to the um, electricity uh, system uh, it doesn't need to be hardwired like uh, one of the big stations is it's uh, it's on the on the edge of needing a hardwired connection or a 63 amp uh, uh, plug. Um, this this works really well. We've tested it for over two, two hours, uh, charging two cars back to back, and it didn't have any problem. It didn't heat up. We tested it constantly, and nothing nothing seems to happen. Um, so, um, how do you mount the charging station? Uh, it has a jig that's, uh, that's um, uh, bolted onto these two bars. Right now you can't see it, but I'm gonna add a picture at a later time. So then you put the jig on the wall, and then you, uh, you um, hook the charging station to the jig. It also has two screws that, so that in event of an uh, earthquake or something, it doesn't, it doesn't move. So this is about it. This is a charging station that can be used for uh, at home, as in you want to charge your car uh, really fast, providing you have 20 kilowatts of power at home. It can be used in a in a semi-public space, like a working space, like the parking lot of a of a working place, or it can be used as a public charging station. Uh, we're working on the payment solution right now, so that you can put it into a, a highway parking and wait for people to charge it, to charge their cars um, with it. Um, we're hoping to have an integrated backend that provides uh, charging uh, by payment via SMS or with a credit card. We think the current system where you have to um, um, subscribe to a company and then you get a card and then you can use this card but only for their charging stations is a bit outdated. Um, the, the platform uh, for payment, we already use the payment method for our other services, so this is not uh, news. We only, all, all, all we need to do is uh, get it connected to the charging station. It's, it's, um, it's not a big problem, uh, but it takes some work. Thank you very much. Uh, this is Dragos from Rotrik. Um, this product is available from, for sale in Romania, and you have warranty and everything you need. We, we, uh, this, uh, this unit is uh, accounted for, it's uh, being sent to Bucharest to the uh, Nissan dealership to charge their uh, Nissan Leaf and uh, the, any other cars that might want to charge uh, um, uh, with a 20 kilowatt power in Bucharest. Thank you very much, have a nice day.